Hey guys, Kev here, and I have some unboxing to do for you. So, uh, I do have two packages here. Let's start with this guy. This one's from Teespring. I ordered a couple samples of my own shirts, and then I ordered uh, a new Bearded Gear Holes Over Studs shirt. I think this is going to be, let's see. <clears throat> Uh, this is going to be Jake's shirt, so they haven't sent mine yet. Um, let's check it out. What size we got? Yep, 2X. This is a Gildan? Made in Nicaragua. What is the 6535? I got to check my other one. I don't remember it being a Gildan. I remember it being a next level or something nice. This feels different, which is kind of annoying because I ordered the same shirt, so... That's not on Jake. That's on Teespring, probably. We'll take a look. But it's listed as a premium tee, I think. So, anyway, it has uh, holes over studs up here on the left chest. And that's what I loved about the shirt I had. It just looks really cool. And when I originally got it, I couldn't pick between the black or gray and this blue. So, I got the black uh, slash gray. And then uh, recently I was like, oh, I should get some more shirts and I decided to get the blue one. I just love that design. So shout out to Jake over at Bearded Gear. Go check him out. Sorry, the camera's kind of like leaning a little bit here. Let's try some stuff. Let's see, is that better? Is that better? And check the app thingy. And yep, looks like we're good. And I probably just zoomed in or whatever. I hate this shit. It's so annoying doing this on my watch. But I try to do it because I've had so many videos where I accidentally turned the camera off or I didn't turn it on. It's just a pain in the balls. So anyway, this package here is from Richard. And he is a, a fellow lefty. And he emails me, uh, I don't know, once every month or so. And he's like, hey, you got anything you want to trade, sell, whatever? And, um, oh, by the way, the unboxing knife, Devo Knives, stout pre-order April 9th at 1 p.m. on our website, devoknives.com. Uh, but he hits me up, and he's like, you got anything? And I'm like, eh, I don't. And then he, he'll watch a video and be like, hey, you got this? And usually by the time he emails me, I've sold it or traded it if it's going to go because, um, you know, I'm like a week or 10 days behind my videos, right? Or ahead of my videos. So you see the video go up. I've had that knife for 10 days. So I probably decided already if I'm gonna sell it or not. And these days, it's pretty easy to move knives. Um, you know, people message me constantly about knives that I put on Instagram or YouTube. I have a lot of friends that um, are into knives, so it's easy to move knives. But anyway, I had a Nimble, the black uh, PVD handled nimble with the satin blade. I recently got third production and the detent was just a little stronger on that one than my other ones, which is good in general, but not for me as a lefty. So, uh, I was going to trade it and, uh, I was going to just sell it. Honestly, he offered me something. I didn't really, uh, you know, care for all that much, but I figured I could sell it or whatever. So uh, that was the plan. This is supposed to be a Berg Blades new in box uh, mini slip. And it's in this weird pouch. I don't know if they come in this pouch or if they come in a Berg box. Usually his knives come in a box. So I don't, I'll have to ask him what happened to the box. When I buy a knife that he said was brand new in box, I'm assuming it comes with the box, right? So I don't know what happened here, but I'll check um, with him. We do have the knife, which is awesome. Um, again, he said it was brand new in box, and he said the detent was a little stiff on this guy for him. Um, and this has the uh, Timascus clip and pivot collars. So this is the Mini Slim from Berg Blade. You guys know I had the full size, and I liked it, but it was a little too thick for me. Um, and this guy is a little too small, you know. I figured I'd just move it along. I kind of got, it felt like I was getting the better end of the deal um, with the Timascus on here because these are about the same price as a Nimble stock, you know, and then add the Timascus. So just seemed like a good call. Uh, let's see how stiff this detent really is. Oh, yeah, that's nice. It's like good stiff. Drop and a little bit of shaking. I mean, it's a small knife. That's going to happen. It is dead nuts. 
centered. So there you go. A left hand, it's probably not going to fire. Oh, no, it fires. Um, now, you don't have a choil. That's kind of the negative on this knife. I wish it just had a choil here instead of this flat. But you can grip it like this. And you just have a really tiny kind of utility knife. Uh, a lot of people are probably going to hold it back here. And it's just very small, you know. Uh, but it does do things that I like. You know, it has the sheep's footy blade. It has... Um, titanium and it has it's on bearings it's just really small uh, but you do land right on the clip as a lefty fires out great um, so we'll see I might try to use this as trade bait or um, something like that and if you see this and you're interested it might be gone already it might not you know I do have some knives I'm gonna be trying to move today probably so you might see this in our live stream tonight that is already passed by the time you see this. I know, guys. It's stupid. I'm sorry. It's March 26th for me, if that helps. Uh, we have On the Edge tonight. I'm really digging this, though. It's actually a really nice little guy. Um, you know, it's again, it's a little too small for me, but it works really well left-handed, to be honest. Uh, so did the full-size one. Um, that detent is tight, so that's why you got a little bit more lock bar pressure and it's not going to just guillotine shut. Plus, it's tiny, right? But it does drop well, shakes down, locks up, fires out. I mean, solid detent. It's made by Wii, so it's always a question for me, you know. I like the Timascus. I think it's done very well on this. Uh, usually, it's a little gaudy for me, but I like it on this one. Lock bar disengages real easy. I actually really like this knife, to be honest. Uh, M390. So I'm going to have to figure out what happened to the box because there's no card. There's nothing in here. It's weird. Uh, but maybe that's how it comes. I don't know. Um, so there we go. That's the Berg Blades Mini Slim and my uh, my new Bearded Gear t-shirt. So a quick unboxing for you guys. I like this handle a lot. It's like a... I think you said it was PVD, but it's more like a black wash handle or something. I don't know. Definitely looks cool. Definitely uh, well put together on this one. Thumb flick works. Reverse flick. Oh, sorry. Reverse flick. Right hand. I got a little cut right here. It's a war spot to have a cut. Uh, left handed reverse flick fires. Left handed thumb flick. Oh, left handed thumb flick. Left handed thumb flick. Yeah, it's hard to get it to fire out because I'm like right on the lock bar. Got to give it a little whippage. Um, yeah, cool knife. I like it. I think we did a good job on this. Um, if you asked me who built this, if I didn't actually know the answer, I'd probably be tempted to say Riot. Like, it's that quality of knife. Um, definitely very smooth. I might take it apart. It just feels pretty gritty. Some skiffs might help. Uh, again, it might not stick around long. So, you know, I don't know. But we'll see. So, there it is, guys. Thank you for checking it out. I appreciate you guys watching the video, subscribing. I appreciate anybody who joins memberships or Patreon. Super chats on live streams. You guys are the best. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.